Hey guys, I'm going to show you today a move that is called punching up, punching through your opponent. Um, there's going to be a video playing top corner now, and that's me doing it to Stryker Bogdan. <laughs> sorry Stryker. Um, no, basically this move can, can help you out at no end. Uh, someone's got that same length of arm, you just want to gain that little bit of height. Someone's got a little bit more height and you want to match them. Of course the guy's got that short forearm and you just want to punch through them and bring them around as far down your forearm as, as you can. Um, I'm going to show you off the table first. Uh, sorry, on, on the table without the band and I'll show you how to, to work it shortly. So basically, when I'm setting up with this move, obviously the majority of the people, when it, it, it is a posting type move, but it's not a loading type move. So a lot of guys who load, or load from this position, they'll have knuckles high, they'll drop the shoulder a little bit lower, and they'll aim to just post back there. Personally, for me, that's not a good move. I've never been a very good poster, and it's cost me quite a lot of matches trying to measure cocks against somebody. Um, so I try and punch through um, and conceal, conceal the pose, conceal the load, but I'll get to that in a moment. So when you're doing this move, don't be straight. Don't be elbow tucked under. You want your elbow slightly out. So this position. So almost as though you're putting a flat hand to the table. Obviously making sure that you're still, still over the center. When you've done this, what you're doing is you're getting to pull up and your back is as tense. So whether you're rowing or doing a pull up, your back's tense, your shoulder, your trap. You've got a little touch of side pressure in. So you're engaging a pec deck position move. The wrist is gonna be flat. Now, you'll be aiming to go through the guy between 10 and 11 o'clock. This is like a bone typing, bone lining type move. So what I'm aiming to do is go from zero, nothing in the hand. Sorry, the, the hand is loose, the hand is nothing on. I'm loading nothing through the hand, everything's concealed like a coiled spring, okay? So then, ready, go, boom! <coughs> and I punch through the opponent, keeping the same angle, punch through the opponent. Now, when I feel the connection, when I feel I've got connected to that block, then I'll apply the back pressure or the rotation or whatever move I intend to apply after I've got position. So literally this is a move, getting one or two inches, trying to move your opponent outside of the arm, this way, turn them, perm up slightly, and then when you apply the down pressure, when you apply the back pressure, then you're opening the arm while isolating the bicep with the perm still facing up to the ceiling. So if, I'm, if someone's in this opponent and they're doing it to me, they're knocking me outside of my arm, so they took my rotator off me slightly, and then once they've done that, they feel the connection into my fingers, they then go down my arm. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do it with a rotation. So you're going up while you're rotating through your thumb and through the, the, the meaty part of your thumb, and that can create the opponent to, to lose a little bit of finger. Or you can just go straight up, and you can do it with wrist curl, and by doing this, you're turning the palm of your opponent as you do it, and as you're turning, you're getting full hand control. You're not into the fingers, you're getting full hand control, and then you apply the pressure while keeping all this on top of your opponent's hand. Um, there's no necessarily extra merit in either. It all depends how, how the match goes and how you feel, feel that match. So a couple of ways that I'll train that is obviously knuckles over the belt. And everything I do with this belt, I do um, as I would be on the table. So I take the correct stance, I lock the lat, I lock the shoulder, I apply the pec deck. Obviously, I go down the knuckles with the belt, shoulders are square, and I'm set up in a position that I would like to during the match, okay? And when I do this, I just push up, I move that one or two inches, and I'll just rep that maybe three or four times, like Devon does when he just pulls these up and gives it a little rock. I'll look very similar. Um, I'll do that maybe, maybe five sets, five, he might get seven sets of three. It, it, it all depends, I, I, will, I will work it differently every time. 
Again, because you work in such a small a small area, I wouldn't recommend doing one rep maximums, try and do that daily, because there's gonna be days where you where you, where you have it at set, it's a no lift. Um, what I find is by working round about that 90%, when I do go for the one rep maximum, I'm, I'm getting massive I'm getting massive jumps. Um, even though you feel like you're getting nowhere um, for maybe three or four weeks, but you do. Um, I started um, a lockdown, I was getting 32 when we ride for a one rep maximum. The other day I did a 47. So obviously it's, it's jumped dramatically over, over that period. And I will do this sometimes multiple times, two, three times in a day even, um, along with an auxiliary exercise. Um, so again, just to make sure, so you don't have to rewind the video. Oh, and before you get there guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, here on this PAA channel, there's all sorts of training videos and loose men in mighty's corners, just videos of everybody. There's gonna be so much more content available when uh, we're all out of lockdown. So please subscribe to the channel and give us a little tinkle of that bell. <laughs> I think I've been watching too much YouTube. But again, when I'm setting this position, I'm going down the knuckle, I'm getting the pull up, I'm using my lap, I'm locked, everything's locked, my hands loose, this is a surprising punch, I don't want the opponent to see this coming. If I start preloading, if I start to preload this move, the opponent can feel what I'm doing and it can give an initial advantage to them, I can, I can feed into them, I don't want to feed into that person, I don't, I don't want to feed him the fuel. I want him to surprise, I, I want him to be like, oh, oh, what's going on? And I want the hand to be here before they even know it. Okay? So, don't load it, load everything else. Cock the gun, once you've done so, get it up, and visualise your opponent. So important you're visualising what you're doing, and imagine that hand being popped. <clears throat> Little one. Now, remember, we're only working on that top part of the movement there, yeah? We're working on the top pair. I'm either going to just push it up there and stick it there, it's just going to get hammered at some point. As soon as it goes up and I feel the connection, <laughs> we apply the back pressure. Um, when I'm doing this on my table training, I can apply it all in one move. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with weights, that comes into, I break this move down into two, three parts, depending on what I'm trying to achieve at the time. So, um, if you want to do it on your rotator, for instance, you'd make a hoop around your thumb, and you put one over your knuckle, and as, as you went up, you'd rotate. If you just want to work on a wrist curl, then basically I'd just keep it over the top of your knuckles and work on your wrist curl from your table and stuff, uh, from your over your knee or your pulley system. So, best of luck, have a good go at that, guys. I hope it's helped you. Put it into your arsenal, and uh, hopefully you get a few wins with it. Take it easy.